In the news this week, the Christian Institute warns of legal action over the lack of same-sex marriage safeguards in Northern Ireland, the latest attempt to introduce assisted suicide is rejected, and we launch Election Briefing 2019. Hello. The Northern Ireland office is failing to recognise serious concerns about freedom of expression regarding the introduction of same-sex marriage in Northern Ireland. The Christian Institute warned the government that it faces possible legal action if it does not include protections for churches and teachers who disagree with same-sex marriage. The Northern Ireland office has said there will be a consultation on religious same-sex weddings, but will not consult more widely. The Christian Institute's Kieran Kelly said the government has failed to grasp the scope of what needs to change. It's not enough for the government to simply talk about having a consultation on religious same-sex marriages sometime in the future. When the law changed in Great Britain, safeguards were introduced in equality law, in public order law. Uh, There was guidance to help protect teachers from being required to endorse same-sex marriage. And none of that is going to be in place in Northern Ireland on day one in January when civil same-sex marriages come in and it needs to be. When Asher's Bakery was dragged through the courts, it wasn't because it was involved in a same-sex religious wedding, it was because it refused to endorse same-sex marriage. And what we need to have here is a guarantee that the protections currently available in GB will be mirrored in Northern Ireland. The High Court has rejected the latest attempt to weaken the law on assisted suicide. Phil Newby, who has motor neuron disease, argued that the current ban interfered with his rights under the European Convention. But High Court judges refused the challenge, saying the court is not an appropriate forum for the discussion of the sanctity of life. Care Not Killing, which campaigns against assisted suicide, welcomed the ruling and described the challenge as unnecessary. Spokesman Alistair Thompson highlighted that both Westminster and Holyrood have rejected plans to legalise assisted suicide. Care Not Killing welcomes this very clear decision by uh, the court to reject this latest attempt to change the law. Uh, We welcome this because the judges have recognised once again this is a matter for Parliament, which has debated and voted on this issue uh, many times since 2003, every time recognising that the current law exists for public protection. And if you start removing universal protections, then vulnerable people will feel pressured into ending their lives, exactly as we see in Oregon and Washington. A patient whose life has been transformed thanks to adult stem cells has spoken out. Unlike embryonic stem cells, ethical adult cells do not require the destruction of embryos. James O'Donnell, who suffered from a life-threatening blood disorder, recently met the bone marrow donor who saved his life. He told her, superheroes save lives, and that's what you've done. The pair appeared together on BBC Northwest. I had some treatment that didn't work, um, so six, I had to wait six months, and then I got told I needed this bone marrow transplant. And if I didn't have it, I wouldn't be here today. You know what I mean? I'm a son, I'm a father too. And finally, the Christian Institute has called on the UK's political parties to re-engage with Christians as we launch our new election briefing. The briefing offers an analysis of party policies on many issues that matter to Christians, as they consider how to vote on the 12th of December. It provides clear and concise information on key subjects, including freedom of speech, religious liberty and the sanctity of life. It's available online today at christian.org.uk slash election. Colin Hart, the Christian Institute's director, said, As Christians, we must challenge those seeking our vote, those who want to run the country, and make sure they understand our concerns. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.